What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with another episode of Farm Together. I haven't been on this game in a while, but you guys wouldn't know because I've re re -rec I recorded out for so long. But uh, hey, guys, we're here, and we're here with everyone's favorite annoyance Bring the Party. Woo! Welcome, Bring the Party. I oh, appreciate that intro. What, what part of the intro don't you appreciate? Mm. Never mind. All righty. Well, happy you're here. Hi. Happy to be here, dude. How's your day? My day's a day. I just finished helping you record. It's a Sunday. I got my morning monster. Life is. Do you think you should be drinking mo morning monsters? What would what would the lady say about this? I don't tell the lady I drink morning monsters. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> and she. Is it... uh, and if she ever gets mad at me, I'll be like, Oh, I've been drinking them for months. You don't listen to my. Uh, videos then because you don't watch that, my videos that, that, yeah. that's my gotcha because all i do is talk about it in the videos so she decides not to uh she decides she i i'm know pretty she open and i'm not hiding it from you i just i just don't yeah. talk about it talk yeah, on video. Uh, how am i how am i supposed to uh where's the conversation where i'm like oh by the way i'm having a morning monster i'm not gonna this is not a good conversation it's like uh, if it came up would i tell her maybe <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> it's really funny guys because his lady is uh always <laughs> telling him to eat healthier like stop drinking sodas and stuff it's quite funny actually it's it's a nice shift in the day and the other day i was going to taco bell i gave him a call late i don't even know what time it was maybe maybe 11 i was like hey what do you guys want from taco bell and they both get tacos. Then Noah goes, "Give me a Baja Blast!" And I just hear his girlfriend yell in the background, "Do not get him a Baja Blast!" <laughs> and you got me a Baja Blast. Uh, I just say I got she took Baja a couple Blast. very big sipperinos of that thing. She, Wait, she did. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, does she like a Baja? Every who doesn't like a Baja? Alex. Oh wait! Stop selling everything. We got to. Uh... Do the house things. Josh, can you make sure all the houses are taken care of? Dude, I don't even know where all your houses are. I have one oh. over on the left. Just click M. Oh, actually, that's not going to show it, is it? No. I'm going to start getting you jalapenos. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, you could do that. I'll do the house things. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, yeah. Um, did the Bajas, of course. Dude, I have to... I, I told you this, and I stick behind it. Taco Bell, underrated. You know what, uh... You know who I have a problem with right now? Wait, what? What? Who? Jax. Oh, dog? Yes. I actually need to... I need to clear my trash. He has re-pulled out the Taco Bell wrappers four oh. times. And he rips yeah. them all apart. There's nothing new on those than the other three times he's pulled it apart. Hmm. I went into your room yesterday. I think I was getting clothes or something. Um, and I saw them on the ground, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Why are these ripped apart? <laughs> and I picked them up and threw them back in the trash. Are you saying he went back in since then? That was like yesterday. I like, oh, no. No, was it? Yeah, it was yesterday while you were out. Oh, I went in there. no, I came in this morning, and they were out. Because, and they weren't no out when I was sleeping. When I got up to go grab my morning monster, my coffee, Jax got up from the parents' room, walked into my room, and took them back out. Dude, you know what's funny? Remy, uh, every time I ever bring home hot weenies, wieners, yep. you guys don't... It's a hot dog with like a snap to it. It's kind of like a sausage casing on a hot dog. It's, it's so it's, good. They're steamed, yeah, it's, it's they're delicious. Yeah, it's famous in Rhode Island. And um, anyways, they put this meat sauce on. It doesn't matter. They're delicious hot dogs, okay? But they're like meat smaller. Sauce, a little mustard. Yeah. Onions. So the big thing is, oh. is uh, celery salt, mm. and that's like. Anyways, they are. My mouth is salivating just thinking about them. Anyways. I bring them over to Alex's house sometimes. And, hey, Alex hates me bringing them over because it makes the entire house smell like wieners. My car and... still smells like wieners I ate two weeks ago. The grease just seeps into the seats when it's in Dude, the Dude, that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Facts. Anyways, 
every time I bring it over, Remy gets really excited, and Alex has busted my chops. Like, why is Remy trying to eat these? And then she goes, dude, it smells like dog food. It smells like high-end dog food. What do you expect? I'm like, son of a... Son of a... So every time I bring him over, Remy gets all hyped. He's like, ooh, that smells delicious. <laughs> Alex is like, dude, that smells nasty. And there I am just eating up, loving life, because they are so good. They're so good. So good. Never had anything more delicious, really. That's Dude, if I could eat those every day, I would. The problem but I, can is just I know imagine. they are so bad for you. I feel like crap after eating them. Which is so funny because I eat a lot of crap. And I don't even think twice about the crap I eat. But those, every time I eat them, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, I can't eat these again for a while. You know, <laughs> you kind of put them in the back burner. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, man, this was delicious. I'd love to eat more. But I, but I shouldn't, and I won't. Like, <laughs> <laughs> love to eat more, but it is time for a break. <laughs> yeah. I will eat a couple in a month from now when I'm hungover, leaving a bar. That is when I'm drunk with a couple friends. I will eat a few more. But until then, we will put these on hiatus. If I could eat them every day, I would. But I just know I can't. No, it's definitely... my body. Uh -uh. This my body, body would rejects be done. it. Oh yeah, my body is like, dude. What am I supposed to do with this? It's like a morning <laughs> monster. The body's confused and has no idea what to do with it. It's like, sometimes what is I this? Like to, sometimes I like to shock the body with uh, <laughs> shock the core. I like to shock the body with a morning monster. I, I don't even want the monster. I'm just like, let's see what the body can do with this. And it's confused and it's wondering what to do with this battery acid. Yeah. I just put into <laughs> you know what would suck though. Hmm. I get big enough where Monster wants to give me a sponsorship, and they bring up this, and then <laughs> they remove my sponsor. <laughs> I would die for Monster sponsorship. I love Monster, but my god, every time I drink it, I know it ain't right. I, I know I shouldn't be. <laughs> I know there's something wrong in that. Okay, I need 140 chili. Thing is, it's mutual across all energy drinks. It's not just Monster. Uh, very few energy drinks, and even alcohol. I drink it, I'm like, mmm. My body's like, mmm, that ain't water. What is that? <laughs> what do we do with this? Should we put it in the veins? Should we just put it to the side? <laughs> Let it pass through the system? I don't know. Uh, yep, yep, that's how, it, that's how it goes. There it is, so how good. it goes. I'm so jealous of people who have, like, monster fridges and stuff i want a monster fridge tell me why all the youtube ads i get are about getting a gosh darn monster fridge i'm like a free one too how, you just have to... how does that even work i have not clicked mm. on it yet but it is tempting i this time. i googled it because i wasn't gonna click on their crappy ad with clickbait there's no freaking way uh. there's no way you can't even buy one i went to go buy one they don't even have them only promotional ones i went to buy one so i could have one in my office at my new house but you can't even do that. Like, that's not possible. So you mean that so, video's a lie? Hundred... No, well. <laughs> You're saying Mr. Beast isn't giving away so many free V-Bucks? <laughs> Mr. Beast giving away V-Bucks. You say Mr. Beast isn't giving away thousands of dollars worth of V-Bucks? Mm. No. Tough break. No. Uh, no. It's not real. And there's... You can't even buy a monster fridge. You're only promotional. So, I won't lie. I was considering emailing their customer service and seeing if they'd send me one. Now, it would be such a reach, but I'm willing to give it a shot. You know what I mean? I Every could... once in a while, I feel like people do some crazy stuff. So... Yeah, could you convince them? What? I don't know. I don't know. Is it a hard hey, sale? Hey, long-time Monster fan. Buying a house, do a little YouTube stuff. Would love a Monster fridge to highlight in my office. It I don't might know. make I'm... it the centerpiece. It would be it would be my big selling point of the house. I would love a monster fridge, stocked with monster. Oh. Ninja has one, right? Or is his Red Bull? He he has a Red Bull sponsor, dude. Oh, I, I don't want Red Bull. Yeah, they keep that. Mm, if they offer but if they want to send me one, I'll accept it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like, but here's no. a. Ooh, hello, ducklings. No, if they were like, yo monster fridge i i'd buy a monster fridge if it wasn't that expensive all right you can buy like promotional monster fridges but they're like thousands and thousands of dollars like if if i saw one for like 200 bucks 
Mini fridge? fridges are pretty cheap, actually. Is if if it was just be, monster decal. Huh? Is that the price of a normal fridge? Two hundred bucks? I have no clue. How much is mini fridge? Oh, dude, like hundred bucks. They sell them every time, every every like um, uh, back to school season yeah, for like I... dorms and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. Yeah. I thought they were hundred bucks. Yeah. Than that. Uh, are they? I, I'm pretty sure they aren't. Well, I'm gonna Google I've... it while you you're I doing your thing. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. Oh, like 200 bucks. 100 bucks. 100, 200 bucks. 200 would probably be the average. Mm -hmm. Here, stainless steel, 160, 150. Yeah, yeah, 200 would probably be at. Yeah. 200 would probably be middle of the pack. Yeah, if I saw one for three, 400, I'd snag it. It'd be a nice little thing for the office. You got enough chili peppers? Oh, I can buy a flower stand. Do you want to come over here and get a shot with me with this flower stand? Yes, no. Uh, what was that that you just did there? Because you present it as if I have a option. What do you mean? You have an option. Okay, I'm going to walk away. All right, I'm never recording with you again. All right, I'm back. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let me move these back. Cause... That's where the, uh, these boxes are in the way. I think people are more likely to click on my videos if they see that bring the parties in it. It's quite optimistic. What do, you, what do you mean? Everyone looks at your character and they're like, that is definitely bring the party. <laughs> Look at this short guy with a mustache. Short guy, mustache. Astronaut. I do currently have a mustache. <laughs> yeah. Short. Very accurate. Short mustache, dude. So I went to Cheesecake Factory the other night. Mm, mm. All right. Love me some cheesecake, but oh my god, me too. But Alex goes, Josh, why are we the tallest people in here? And I start looking around. We are leaps. She is even leaps and bounds taller than everyone else, even men standing next to us. And I was like, what's going on? And she's not even tall. What's she? Five, five, six. Five, maybe five seven, mm -hmm. five six. I I'm six two, so like me being tall is no surprise. But Rhode Island has this thing, so we are the, like the shortest state in the dude US, smallest state and shortest state. We are the shortest state in the United States. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense, because then you see me and Noah. It was so crazy though, because in our high school, I felt like people in our grade were reasonably tall, like they weren't short. But then like my younger brother and his friends. All like short. I don't know. I, I guess I, I don't know what's going on there. Like, how did it go from our grade, who is a reasonably tall grade, definitely above average? I think it's because like, I think it's because we ate our Wheaties. Oh, you think that's what it was? I used to, I used to guzzle glasses of milk, which uh, bone growth, you know. I don't even know if that's true. I don't even know if they say that anymore. <laughs> Do they still <laughs> stick with that? <laughs> I, oh. Let me tell you, I'm still drinking my milk and I haven't broken a bone yet. No, wait, I did. What bone did I break? No. Oh, I definitely broke my pinky that one time I tried to punch you. What? Try to punch you. I Missed actually... you. Punched the corner of the wall. Why don't I? You don't remember, remember this? No. We were in the living room. Hmm. It was the wall to the, like the basement doors on that Maybe wall. Maybe you shouldn't punch me. Oh. I think you did something to deserve it. Hmm. Anyways, I went to punch you. I I remember this. It, uh, we were we were too Clearly, old to be sounds, fighting. To be sounds, fair, I think we were probably like seventeen. <laughs> we were too old to be fighting. Vivid. But I went to punch you. Mm -hmm. hmm? I said the thought, the memory sounds vivid. The way you're yeah. explaining this, yeah. Because I like, I messed up my hand. I went to punch you left hand, and the corner of my we hand. were too old to be fighting. You are explaining this as you were trying to punch me. You were too old to be fighting. I'm sure you deserved it. I don't know. In what yeah, there world. was something that you did that deserved a punch. Mm -hmm. Went uh, to punch are you. Are you guys listening missed. to this? <laughs> Went to punch you. I missed. Clocked the corner of the wall. Me and you start laughing because we look at my finger and it's instantly swollen and kind of jacked up. 
And then we go into mom's room. I'm like, mom, I broke my pinky. She's like, what do you mean you broke your pinky? And I showed her my pinky and it was fucked. It was messed up. And then she said, just wrap it up. Just tape it to the ring finger. And that was it. Well, that's all you can really do. <laughs> no. How don't you remember this? Son of a. Uh, I don't remember this. All right, whatever. I, I think that's the only think time I've ever funny that you blame me for you punching me. That's all. I missed the punch. If you were, yeah. if you were the size you were today, I would have hit it. No. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness! All right, all right. What do you want me to play it? <laughs> let's let's bring it back down. Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I gonna start playing pineapples. That's fine. I'm uh, your money's gonna be a, gone. I'm working on a Roman like area over here. All right. You don't need money for it, do you? Gold. No. <laughs> Let's bring that back down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Noah. Uh... Yeah, I went to punch you. I missed. Hit the wall. Broke my pinky. I don't know if it was actually broke. Have you ever broken bone? I've broken both my pinky fingers and pinky toes. Officially? Was ever diagnosed? No. Well, you don't go to the hospital for a broken freaking No, unless pinky. it was like really messed up, like falling off. No. Uh, <clears throat> see, our mom's a nurse, so she was always very much like, walk it off. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> like, that's nothing. Yeah. Like, like okay, mom. <laughs> Remember when I messed up my back? Which time? What time? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, I've messed up my back too many times to count. Oof. My back is a mess. Well, Which more recently has been okay. Maybe been you doing should pretty well. quit messing up your back, honestly. Dude, I don't know how I keep messing it up. Dude, the first time... Okay, first time I did deadlifts the day before. And then... I went to pick up a tennis ball in those first time I really screwed it up. And when I picked up the tennis ball, my back like locked up and just would not let me move. And it totally, I, I was like down for the count. I could barely move. I was just locked up and I was like in a fetal position. Yeah. And then from there, I messed up shoveling snow one day. Mm, mm. Good old snow sho shoveling. And, the and then, um, so it was during the same time as I, uh, picking up the tennis ball. Cause that was like a long, it was a long recovery on that. I was actually on like muscle relaxers and stuff. They actually had me on some real stuff. Um, I woke up. That was it. <laughs> I woke up and I went to get out of bed cause I had to use the bathroom. And for some reason my back locked up and I landed on the ground and I couldn't get off the ground. I struggled on the ground in in the living room as I was sleeping on the couch and could not get up, like for the life of me. And I was in excruciating pain. It was like 4 a.m. and it took me like 20 minutes. I had a breakdown on the ground, no one's around. I think I couldn't even reach my phone because I went to try and call you because you were upstairs. I was gonna hope that you could like help me get up and I couldn't reach my phone. And then when I finally got up, I was like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> I'm miserable. What a child. What is going on? Dude. I would, oh. I have, dude, nothing. I think back pain is probably the worst pain. Everything you do requires your back. And I, like, fidget. And I'm like, ah. And I'm, like, all tensed up. Hasn't bothered me in a while, though. Well, that's good. Yeah. Alrighty, well, I think we can, uh... Oh, think, is that the I, end of the episode? I think on Jeez. that, I think on that note, uh, I think we can, uh, wrap up. I really appreciate everyone's time and viewership. If you want to come check out this area real quick, actually, come over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Josh, it's not that big of a deal. Just come over here. You got a castle. You said Roman. This is medieval, dude. That's what I meant. What did you say? Uh, I don't know. I'll give you the answer. Roman. You want to come Wait. sit with me? Wait, can I sit in there with you? Oh, jeez. That's... 
Okay. We fight for the Empire. This is our castle behind us, by the way. Mm, I'm Got more it. of a rebellion. Oh, well, then you should go over here. Me and Luke Skywalker taking on the world, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys. I really appreciate everyone's time and viewership. If you guys enjoyed the series, enjoying the series. Oh, we got one more episode. If you guys enjoyed the series, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our Farm Together series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in that next one. Bye!